Today was the deadline to register to vote in the March 7th presidential primary election. And while the push is on for all of the parties to get voters registered, there are some special efforts in Sonoma County to get out the Latino vote. News Channel 50's Bettina Camriani is live in the newsroom now with more. Bettina. And that's right. There's a slogan that a voter organization uses to get out the Latino vote around election time. In Spanish, it's su vota es su voz. In English, that means your vote is your voice. And that's exactly the message that North Bay activists are trying to communicate to the Latino community. Michael Fumara says taking the test to become a citizen doesn't mean much unless you vote. And there's a danger if you don't. If you don't vote and you don't get involved and you live in a particular neighborhood, that neighborhood could be easily overlooked when it comes to improvements, when it comes to fire and police protection. Fumara is an attorney active in the Sonoma County Democratic Club who says there are obstacles to getting Latinos to the polls. There is still suspicion because of the origins of where many of these people have come from, El Salvador, Mexico. They're used to the government being oppressive, mean, and not uh, a government, uh, n not a benevolent government. So that's the biggest challenge is getting uh, Latino voters to even trust anybody that's associated with government and politics. But when Latinos vote, they do make a difference. In the legislature uh, in the 90s, in 1990, we only had six Latinos in the state legislature. Uh, as of last year, we have a total of 26. Six, uh, excuse me, 27. Six in the state uh, Senate and 17 in the state assembly. And also, we have a lieutenant governor who is Latino. So the major parties have committees to address the issues affecting Latinos. Issues like affordable housing, jobs, transportation, education, and health care. But it's hard to know how many Latinos are registering. I called the uh, county clerk's office to, this afternoon, and the, there is no way to indicate when you register to vote whether you are Latino or not. So they don't have a specific numbers. But community activist Patricia Robles says recent statistics show the Latino vote will be an increasingly powerful force in elections. By the year 2005, Latinos will be the largest minority in this country. It's increasingly a potent, unpredictable political force. 37% of the age group, 18 to age 34, say they're independent. The population increase has been fueled by massive immigration, mostly legal, and higher birth rates. In an effort to make sure Latinos vote and are informed about the issues, there will be an informational meeting in Spanish at the Resurrection Parish on, in Santa Rosa on Wednesday, February 23rd. It will explain how to get information on voting issues and candidates. It's sponsored by Catholic Charities and the California Human Development Corporation. For more information, call 528-9712. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Bettina Camriani. Ed, back to you.